yesterday your coalition held a vaccination clinic. Um, can you tell us how many people showed up and why you're putting such a priority on vaccinating your workers when we're seeing there's a federal government effort to do that and in many cases a state level effort to do that? Yes, well, Safe Philly Restaurants Coalition has helped over a thousand restaurant workers in Philadelphia get vaccinated in partnership with Centennial Pharmacy. And we've been able to offer unlimited vaccine appointments to teams at hundreds of restaurants and really make it easy for them to get vaccinated. Right now, so many restaurant workers are still hesitant or confused about the process. It takes a lot of time to figure out where you're gonna get vaccinated. So we're just making it super easy for them because it's so important right now. So I would imagine that your business is not quite the same as it was before the pandemic. Can you give us a sense of how deeply impacted your business was at the height of the pandemic and where is it at right about now? Yeah, absolutely. You know, the last year has been the hardest of my professional life and we've learned so much. When the shutdowns hit, we all went through a period of shock. It was really difficult for our employees. When sales dropped overnight by 75%, we had to furlough over 250 employees and then try to hire them back when the weather improved and then do layoffs again when cases surged in the winter. And now we're back to hiring again. So it's, it's probably giving them whiplash. It's been difficult on the company, but we're really grateful that the core team was able to stay on and we've gotten so close and they've been very resilient. I'm really proud of them. And we're really grateful for the PPP loan that got us through and other programs that allowed us to pay our rent and part of our payroll. Uh, you know, right now we have to define success in the restaurant business these days as surviving. Fortunately, we had already invested in digital marketing and platforms, so we were able to continue our relationships with our customers, even though they were no longer going into the office. We had to meet them where they are, which was in their homes. Right. So, Nicole, obviously you think that vaccinating your workers are, are key, is a key part of keeping your restaurant open. Uh, any thoughts about mandating vaccinations for your workers and also possibly mandating that people who come in your restaurant have vaccine passports? You know, widespread vaccination of restaurant workers is one of our top priorities at Save Philly Restaurant Coalition. It's really one of the keys to getting restaurants fully open and making sure staff and guests feel, feel and stay safe. And it's been our priority since vaccines were approved. But it has been challenging for most industry workers to get vaccinated. Many of them are still confused in part because getting appointments is so time consuming. Um, you know, so these clinics make it easier for our staff to get vaccinated more quickly and easily, which is really good for everybody. Right. So circling back to your business, uh, I got some data from the Plant Boost Food, uh, Food Association. They say that plant-based food sales they increased by about 29% last year. Obviously your restaurant had some difficulties, restrictions and was closed. Do you expect to see that translate into higher sales when we finally get to the recovery or get to mass vaccination? Do you think people will continue to eat vegan food and will they want to eat vegan food even more? Yeah, I think plant-based foods is the future. Uh, more and more people are looking to healthier options. We certainly still need the convenience of delivery or takeout or curbside pickup, but plant-based foods is definitely a trend that's here to stay. And you know, now that more people are getting vaccinated and COVID rates are going down, we foresee an upward trend in the coming months, barring some other disaster. You know, we're all gonna need to work together to figure out how to bring people from the suburbs and tourists and more importantly, office workers back to Center City so we can fill our shops and fill our restaurants and streets again, which is essential for the city's economy and for plant-based restaurants in general. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.